Hey guys, this is Mike the Wrestling God Smith, and you guys are watching All In Wrestling. I'm sorry that my voice sounds so somber, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to give, this is why I, I lose faith in WWE every year, and like I said, I just sung their praises for the Royal Rumble, and maybe I did it too prematurely, because the fact that this dude gave up it, like... I am mad that, you know, on SmackDown, because I did see SmackDown. I got to see that Bailey is happening, and they're breaking up control, um, damage control is actually breaking up, which is cool. But here's the thing that, here's the thing that bothers me the most, is the fact that this dude literally pointed at the sign and said, I'm going to face you, and literally said, what does finishing the story mean? He wants to take everything from him. And I'm like, you know what? I would be... So, basically, what if he wins at Elimination Chamber, bro? What if he wins at Elimination Chamber? And I, and I say this... I say this with no hope in, hope in my heart. And I, I like... Because I know Roman, he's going to win that belt at Elimination Chamber. Or they're going to give him some weird match where he ends up going... Where he ends up going against Seth, which I don't even think is even a better shot to do. Because this is the this is the problem. I don't mind the Brock coming back. I don't mind him coming back. I would have been okay with him coming back in the Royal Rumble, like kind of entering himself to see if he would have won against Cody. But the joke and here's the thing. Like everybody's okay with him being in the main No. I'm I'm not okay with it, bro. Like you don't just give up your spot to someone after you worked three years to get it. Like, you went through the Royal Rumble, all this adversity for what? And I'm trying to understand the booking of WWE. This is why I lose interest in them. This is why I don't watch them a lot. Because they do dumb like this. They do dumb. They do it, and it, these, these, it's like, bro, you have a guy, you got, you finally got control from Vince, you finally have everybody running their own thing, their own storylines, and they're all getting a bit of it, and then you subconsciously say, you know what, let's just screw, the, let's just, let's just screw the, 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 the WWE universe, or the WWE fan base again, you made us go through two years for Roman, for about three years, a thousand day title ring. And when we wanted the one thing, the, the one storyline to be done so we could kind of go in a new direction, they just said, well, you know, they just said, well, we're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to put Rock as the roadblock to WrestleMania. No, Wink, why would you do that in two months? Like, why, bro? You could have did this at, you could have did this in the beginning. You could have sent him way in the beginning of this. And I'm just like, you know, my my brain, my brain's trying to my brain is trying to understand what they're doing and I, I, I get everything that they're saying. And I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Cause it's it's wild to me. Like, I was happy that The Rock showed up because I've been wanting him to come in and, and, and stand face to face with Roman or do a promo with him, which I would have liked it. No, silently. And I thought of, I read it into it a little bit because I, I let it sink in my brain for about three days. Because now my whole thing about 70 days and I was excited because I'm like, bro, he's actually going to finish the story. We're going to get a new universal champion. Then they're going to be a set. It's going to be a set for our week, which would have happened. But they want to unify the belts at SummerSlam, which, why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? You're going to make us wait another five or six months down the line. We're, we're done. Like, we're tapped out at this point. Because I'm like, bro, we, 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 went through, we, we went through all this, all this fall to roll, all this bullshit. And I say it with a, with a smirk on my face, all this bullshit because of the fact we had to let this dude be Universal Champion because his cousins couldn't do it. 
And the biggest cousin of them all is the guy who left the company almost 10, 15 years ago. So magically, he's going to come in because he's the new owner of TKO or some other weird thing that they don't want to say, but they did. That's why the, the DC Universe got ruined because this dude came in and tried to take over there. And he realized he wasn't such a big shot to take over. That's why That's why Black Adam, I probably won't see Black Adam for a while. Or another movie about him. Or him being in the Suicide Squad, which would be cool. But anyway, no. But this is what I'm talking about. We're having another Brock Lesnar situation in The Rock. And I usually won't use Brock Lesnar because I'm like, bro, he's going to be that part-time guy. And then we're going to have to wait for him to drop the belt. Or decidedly, if Cody wins the Elimination Chamber... They're going to put him against The Rock, which, in a sense, would make a lot of sense. But then again, it doesn't. Because you're going to wait, knowing that the, the, the Seth has pretty much got a... He's got an opponent for... He, he literally has an opponent for WrestleMania, which is, which is Drew. And my brain is telling me. And maybe he'll, he'll, he'll announce it on, on Monday and explain to us why he gave up the spot. Maybe, because you know what, and this is what I want to know. This, this is what I want to know. This is this is what I want to know with WWE. It's this gold bolt situation. And I apologize if this is a rant video, guys, because I'm just I'm just upset. I'm upset because we waited. Like I love wrestling because of the storytelling, and you give us a certain story for three years, and you let everybody do, and you you keep flipping the pages, and you say, you know what? We're finally going to break the curse. We're finally going to break this storyline that we said we should have broke last year. And I, and I get it. I get everything they're trying to throw at us. I, I get it. I understand it. This is why I became a YouTuber. But I don't understand. And the joke is, even if this dude becomes a universal champion, it's not going to matter. The, the victory is not going to matter. It's not. Cause bro, they set it up. Cause they're gonna do they're gonna do what they what they could have did with John Cena and The Rock two years ago, going into WrestleMania twenty nine. They they're, they're gonna do that. They're gonna set up Cody where he wins that elimination chamber, or he gets a spot to win at elimination chamber, and he's gonna challenge him at elimination chamber, knowing that there's gonna be some shenanigans. Knowing that Rock's probably not going to get involved at all and Roman's going to win clean because it's going to happen because they're going to do it or they're going to do some screw finish where it's going to be a dumb thing that we expected knowing they're going to do it again. Because here's the thing. So even if even if, even if Cody wins at Elimination Chamber and he finished the story at Elimination Chamber, why? The question is Why? And the funny thing is, they're all joking around about it. And Triple's like, we'll see you in Vegas. Okay. We'll see you in Vegas. And he put that tweet out like, WrestleMania, we'll see you in Vegas. No, bro. We'll see you there. So basically, we're going to wait another year for this story to be done. Because this is what I'm saying right now. This is what I'm saying at WrestleMania 40. This is what I'm seeing. This is why I get tired of shit. And I apologize. And this is why I get tired. Because it's the literal, and, and I say this, it's the literal mind games that they like to play with us all the time. Not even, you know what? Why even give Damian Priest the money in the bank if that dude's never going to cash in? Why even do that? Why even do it? Why make Cody win the Royal Rumble again? Again. Knowing he should know it's the Punk one, we gotta we kinda got a main event out of him. But it wouldn't make sense anyway, because you know what? This is WWE, this is what I've seen that they're booking, no matter what Triple H does. And I, I it's like, bro, he's a he's evil if he's a and I'm gonna use that tagline that he said, he's evil if he's a billionaire. He's He's, he, if you're a millionaire, you're the Antichrist. And this dude's a little Antichrist because the dude just literally just said, you know what? Didn't even give Cody the thought. Said, you know what, Cody? Do you want to give up your spot at WrestleMania? Knowing they're trying to get the huge box office draw. That's what the Netflix thing was about. Because they don't believe in their product enough. And you know what? 
this dude is literally the Antichrist. And I can say that because he, he literally could have just said, you know what? He didn't even announce it. He didn't even announce it. Cody did. And everybody's in the rock, the people's champion. Bro, I don't mind the people's champion coming back. I don't mind him being WWE champion, just not now. As a one-off. But no, they want to put this dude on the belt track. And everybody thought he was going to come back for Royal Rumble. And everybody's sitting there wondering, like, why, why, why is The Rock here? We're all wondering that. We're all wondering it. Why is he here? He didn't even say that. He just showed up. He popped in. Roman's not going to take him seriously. Because we know this dude doesn't take anybody seriously. And I, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it, guys. I'm trying to understand why. I, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get why are we doing? Why are we doing this? That'll be why? Why? Why three years later? Why? And that's what's sad about the wrestling industry because everybody makes it a joke because this right here. And. And I don't want to use Vince Russo, and I don't want to use Jim Cornette, but I might as well throw that in there, too. We're doing a Vince Russo move. We're doing it. We're doing WCW 2000 all over again. We're doing it. And the funny thing is, and I, and I thought to myself, you know what? I'd rather have WrestleMania now than later. Because like you, I'm going to be watching wrestling. I'm going to look at the card because I don't really believe he wouldn't just give up his spot and The Rock's going to come in at WrestleMania at night too. Come on! We can't even have WrestleMania a one-day thing. We got to have it two nights. So basically, I'm going to be happy about the first day, but I'm not going to be happy about the second day because I know what the second day is. It's just literally, this is what WWE just did. They literally just took a dump on the storyline and just said, hey, we're just going to insert The Rock knowing he could have been inserted any other time. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do with Friday. I can't wait to see Friday Night Smackdown and see what they're actually going to say this time. Because the funny thing is, they're not even going to put any energy into it. Because Cody will come out, or Rock will say, you know what, the reason I came back, and he'll give us that one-liner and say, the reason I came back is for the people. No, you came back. The real story is you came back because you're the holding of WWE, of all, I mean, TKL. That's why you came back. Because you couldn't do it. And this is the thing. You had your opportunity, bro. You were in WrestleMania. You had political, you have Try to calm down, okay? They, they could have did this at WrestleMania. I think it was 31. He was in WrestleMania 31. He could have took... He literally could have did it the three-way with someone Seth Cash did and took out Seth's moment and screwed him. Because the funny thing is they don't want to admit that. They actually don't want to admit that they screwed up on this one. They screwed up on it. They don't want to admit it. And this is what they did. This is what they did. They do it. Because like I said, guys, this is what I'm saying. We're getting Vince Russo booking. We're getting Jim Cornette booking. Because I'm looking at it right now as a YouTuber. And then we go, and Triple is like, oh, well, we're getting sweet our displeasure. No. Brother, we see this. We see it. And I must say, like, bro, this shit is dumb. That's why it's becoming everybody was like, why is it getting so much dislike? Bro, because we wanted the ultimate conclusion to a story that was supposed to be the set. Then you just throw some mystery and say, you know what? Let's bring in The Rock. Knowing The Rock would have been fine. You let us do all this shit. Let us do all of it. Make us buy 2K24 knowing it's not that much of a difference. And then you're going to set up some weird... 
Where? In the video game, you could be champion. Oh, it's a possibility. No. And the funny thing is, even if Cody's not going to win an elimination chamber, we already know the odds to this. He's not going to win. I'm not blind. Because the thing is, he's going to take him lightly. So even if he goes to Elimination Chamber, and that's the thing, he's going to show up because Roman's going to be there. He's not going to go, why would he go after Sepp's thing? His title, and he's got number one, and, he's, and he gave up his spot in wrestle. Why? Why? And everybody want to talk about, oh, The Rock could change. No, bro, The Rock's a part-timer. That's why he's just like John Cena. The dude comes up so many times, it's not even funny. That's the point. It's sad. It's sad because we go through this every year. We go through it every year, guys. And I'm saying this because I'm being honest. We go through this every year, bro. That's the thing. They don't never want to just give this dude a break and just let us get a new champion out of it. Cody is over. That's the point about it. Cody got so much over, you screwed him. You didn't even want him to... Y'all really were betting on this dude not to win. And the funny thing is, you had CM Punk come in saying that he wants his main event. What? Are you kidding me? And then, you know, you could have gained... The thing is, if y'all didn't want... If y'all didn't want Cody to go to WrestleMania 40, why the... Would you let him win? Why? Because this is the dumb I'm talking about. You could have let CM Punk get his main event. Because you're going to screw it. Then you would have screwed him. I don't care, Triple. You're a great guy. You're the creative dude. But you guys did some bonehead creating. This is a bonehead move. This is the bonehead that was talking about. Because this dude didn't even think in the back of his mind, just like anybody else. It's a bonehead move. Because this... And I'm going to say this, guys, because I'm saying this with all the respect I have for the WWE. As a fan, as a wrestling fan. Bro, why would you do that? This is the 40th year of WrestleMania. You're literally going to guys with this? You're literally going to do it? No, you just, the funny thing is, and I'm trying to be calm and I'm trying to be, but it makes me matter because we do this shit every year. That's why I'm so tired of the W. I want them to be shut down by AEW because then you know what? We wouldn't get this in AEW. We wouldn't get this. That's the sad part about it. That's why everybody keeps going to AEW because all the booking decisions, all the money, all the backstage politics and everything else they want to throw at. Because that ball-headed, because that ball-headed maroon thinks he could come in and take some more shit. So he could boo up Brock Lesnar. That's why Brock Lesnar hasn't been back. Because you know why? Dude's already done it all. I don't mind Brock Lesnar. I don't mind Goldberg. I don't mind the guys who came in and did it for one time. No, that ball-headed maroon. And I see it publicly. Because this dude thinks he's better than the rest of them. Yeah, bro. You couldn't even break a record. You're the first tribal chief to do it. This dude's the second guy. And then you want to come in and say, oh, I'm going to be bigger. I'm going to beat you, cuz. We love you, Rocky. We know. But why are you here in 2024, bro? Why? Why are you here? Because it's, it's, it's this bonehead move. Because they're not gonna. This dude's not gonna be elimination chamber. So Cody doesn't have a match. So even if they give it to him on WrestleMania, they might as well make it a triple threat. Let him get a triple threat in if he wants to be the champion, or better yet, be Cody's manager. Whatever he wants to do. But I'd rather him not take his spot. I'd rather he didn't have to give up his spot because he earned it. I've never heard of this, bro. I've never heard of it. Not ever, nobody, nobody in WWE has given up their Royal Rumble spot. Only a couple of people have done it. And it it's only because they got injured and they can't do the match. That's the thing that bothers me.
That's the thing that bothers me. It's because they want guys, they want new stars out of people, they want champions, but we got a guy who wants to be champion in front of us. And this is the point, and everybody looks, and then, you know, you got, you got, you got Wrestling Observer, you got Wrestle Talk, you got all these guys saying that everything is happening, and the booking decisions, and then, why are we watching WWE, why are we doing it? Because we wanted an end. That's what I saw on Friday. Everybody else get their ending. Everybody get their story ended. And started again. But Cody? But you're going to punish him like he's the get scapegoat? The scapegoat, really? And this is why WWE goes down now. This is why. Because we got a guy. And the joke is, this dude wants to bully. And if I was Triple H, I would be like, a Triple H, you don't, you don't like the, the booking decision. No, because I'm like, listen, if I was if I was Triple H, and if I would have spoke to him, like, sir, look, you know what you're doing, but why would you give Rock the spot? Let me, let me, let me, let me ask Cody's real opinion. Not what the press says. I'm like, listen, let me be honest with you, buddy. Because you know what? You're a great wrestler, but the problem, you're a great person. But the problem is you come in. Because y'all don't want to end Roman's title reign, right? That's what it is? No, because like you said, you're a bill- you're a millionaire. You know, you're evil if you're a million. You're evil if you're a billionaire. But you're- if you're a millionaire, you're the Antichrist. That's what you said to- That's what you said to punk. That's the funny thing about it, bro. You brought that dude back. Because you know the history with him. And you know what? He doesn't- And you know what? You screwed him. You screwed him. You screwed him. And I'm not gonna, like, listen, I can be professional, but I'm not, by personal decision, professional boy, you just screwed your entire company. That's the problem. You broke up the hurt business because you couldn't even let Bobby Lashley have something. You broke him up for nothing with the street, bro- with Shelton Benjamin. You got rid of Shelton Benjamin for what? That guy was a legend. You couldn't let him become a world heavyweight champion. No, but you talk about all these guys who came in and become world heavyweight champion. You talked about Chris, you know, Chris Jericho, Robin, and them, Edge. Oh, we would be working for Ted Turner, right? That's what you said. And you know what? You wonder why the AEW is beating you with this forbidden door? You know why they're doing it? You know how they're doing it? They're doing something that you would never do. You would never, you don't even, you don't even elevate these dudes enough because we get these whack storylines. We get these whack ass storylines that we see all the time. Look at the Miz. This is the perfect example. That dude couldn't even win into the Intercontinental because he wanted to be an Intercontinental champion. I like Gunther, but you know what you did with that? You took whatever that was and you made something, you made a diamond out of it. Because everybody wants to say that we've done it all. And, you know, you guys want to say that WrestleMania is the guy. Where is the wrestle in WrestleMania? The WWE is just basically a company that plays on backstage politics, that plays on everything else they want to play on. And then they want to say that everybody's getting an opportunity. Nah. You couldn't even, you couldn't do nothing with Heath Slater, he went to Impact. You couldn't do nothing with Rhino, he went over there too. You couldn't do nothing with him. And then you guys want to sit there and say that you're book great and you're booking decisions and we don't believe in forbidden doors. It's just stupid. It's just, it's just, it's not classy. It's just passe. Oh, really, dude? You're the guy who's running the show? But let me tell you something, Mr. 14-time World Heavyweight Champion. Former 14-time World Heavyweight Champion. Here's the funny thing. What if you decide you want to get back in the ring? Because you know what it seems to me, right? It seems like the legends of WrestleMania, the legends of WrestleMania, meaning you, John Cena, The Rock, Undertaker, Brock Lesnar, half of these brothers... And the funny thing is, y'all want to sit there and say that y'all want a shot still? Because the funny thing is, y'all said we don't own the young generation. The new generation doesn't earn it. We don't earn it. 
we 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 don't earn it because I'm like, look, the gold boat thing is that you guys could have gave Cody that shot. You should have ended that story at WrestleMania 39. We had to sit through three years of this guy thinking he's the big shot because this dude has the universal title. The funny thing is, Seth is the workhorse champion because that dude puts in the grease, puts in the blood, gets his, his freaking knee torn because of you guys. And the joke is the dude still comes in there. He was your protege, like you and Ric Flair. You guys, Randy, Batista, everybody. Bro, and you want to say that this, you want to, you brought a guy that y'all didn't even, y'all fired, and you let him go because he wasn't a draw. Because, you know what, what happened to John Laurinaitis? Oh, wait, the guy got let go. You know, when y'all just wanted to change, y'all wanted to change things. And make it the when you did the authority thing, we sucked it up and we dealt with it. And you said when we finally got free of the authority, we went a different direction when we finally did, Mr. Triple H, Mr. C O O. When we finally got what we wanted, what did you do? You screwed everybody out. Because you know what? There's so many people that deserve a championship spot. The Rock ain't one of them. And he's like, and he's like, Am I? no, your hands are in time. See, I know how business works. And you know what? You guys want a box office drop because you took control from your grand, your, your grand, your, your father-in-law, the grandfather of your kids here. And the funny thing is, if your wife came back to this company, can you kill it too? Because you know what? You're doing Vince Russo shit. The same guy you fired. You're doing what he did. You're doing what Eric Bischoff would have done in 2005. Because he gave you per You had perks. You were doing anything you could to get a title because you wanted it. That's how you got your ring. But you know what? Who beat that record? John Cena beat your record. He beat Ric Flair's record. He beat Randy's record. And y'all were all protégés. Of freaking Randy Orton and all the pro y'all were protégés of Ric Flair, and you know what? The guy who literally was a protege of Randy that y'all didn't think he was gonna go anywhere, and you put him in ridiculous gimmicks like Stardust, and then when he wanted creative control, you gave him creative control, but you, you screwed him then. You got him back what you wanted because you saw what he was doing in AEW. You saw what the company was doing over there because, you know, what? that's why you guys lose your people. Because everybody you had left. Sasha Banks left because she couldn't do it anymore. Charlotte can't even come back because she's injured. And Andrade left because y'all couldn't push him any higher than he could go. And the joke is, y'all sit there and pay these guys all this amount of money, and we gotta make our contracts, and we gotta we gotta wow you, bro. We have to wow you to be recognized as a champion or or potential or young guy. Because you know what, I just say that, and I would have said it in the I would have said it in the press conference, like you went in the press, yeah. Because I'm like, you know what, press conferences, fans. Here's what here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say this one thing, and I'm hoping I'm, I'm like Triple H. I'm not saying it's a you because it's not. I wouldn't do that. I was raised better than that. No, but I respect what you do in the WWE. But don't sit there and say that the WWE is the greatest thing, bro. We know, we know the dark history. We know the secrets y'all hide. We know it. Everybody knows it. That's why Vince is going to jail. You don't want to admit it. Your 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 father in law is going to jail. You got the perk, bro. You married the boss's daughter. You got the perk. And you wanna say and you wanna say, I don't wanna debate because I'm like, bro, if I debate with you, you're gonna tell me what I should know as a fan. No, bro. I know more about the wrestling business than you do because I've actually studied it. I don't gotta have a GPA. I don't have to have sports to understand what you do as a businessman because you know what? You guys don't make that much money. AEW takes your ratings every week. That's why nobody's interested in Raw or SmackDown anymore because you make it you, you make it seem you make it seem like it's a joke. Because that's what I'm saying, guys. This is why I'm mad at the Rock situation because I'm gonna get into that too. I'm gonna go back to that. Sorry, I went off the topic here. See, the problem is, is that 
This is Triple H saying, oh, we don't code these two over. We got to knock them down. We got to give them more adversity to go through. So, and I think he went through what, all three years of adversity. Yeah, yeah, let him deal with Shinsuke. That was adversity. Brock Lesnar, that was adversity. Y'all made him go through the Rocky Three storyline. And now y'all putting him in Rocky Four. Or the Rocky Five way. Well, you know what, Cody? You're too over. We got to knock you down. Uh, We got to let somebody else come in. So basically, the Rock is Tommy. Remember Tommy Gun? The Rock is Tommy. That's what that's what the Rock is, bro. Because everybody wants to come in and he wants to believe. And this is why the company's gonna lose great rating. This is why their TV TV deal keeps running out. Because, bro, y'all do some lack luster crap like this. And expect us to buy the game. Bro, we gonna buy it because we're gonna be pissed off about it. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised that that attendance for WrestleMania for WrestleMania 40 is going to be dead because, look, it's going to be a few people because we're going to be so pissed off. We might as well wait till double or nothing on freaking AEW because, bro, at least we get what we want. Because the funny thing is you, you ruined it. You ruined it. Because everybody's going to go, oh, we're going to sweet. No, bro, because we see it. We like this guy. We like this guy because you come in here. We like this guy. Because I want to talk. I'm with Mr. Triple H. I want to talk with you. I don't want to ask you a question. I already know what question I'm going to ask you. I already know what question. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to have a sit down with the man. I want to have a sit down with the myth, the legend, Triple H. I want to have a sit down with him. I want to know what his brain was thinking. I'm like, Mr. Triple H, I just want to know what you were thinking when you made Cody give up his spot. You see, I understand you want to continue. You believe it's like baseball night and we don't end the stories, bro. We can end the story. Because as a fan, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the tiredness that Roman's not going to be around forever. And that's the point I don't understand. Longevity is a factor in the sports. Because, but you guys don't think you guys are like every other sport, right? You're a corp, you're a dynasty, right? Because look at you, Trips. You don't wrestle anymore. You finally retire. You put your boots in the ring. You don't retire. That's the joke. You finally did. Because you, your body couldn't take it. Your body couldn't take it. Sean's body couldn't take it. Because you know what? All three of you guys are all three of you. Because the one person who could have survived was Kevin Nash. And y'all got blamed for the current call thing. But you know what? Remember that Remember that trip? Remember what you said? That you got blamed for it? Like you said you would sacrifice everything to get a title? That's what Cody did. He sacrificed for you. He didn't have to come back. He could have been an AEW. He didn't want to go heel. That's why he said in his promo, he wanted to just win. And y'all give him this really lack. Because when, when we see Elimination Chamber, because Rome was not going to be there. You already said that he wasn't because he's taking off a vacation. He's not going to want to fight the Rock of WrestleMania because he's not really a challenge to him. So if Roman beats the Rock of WrestleMania again or beats him for the first time, then you're going to give us the Cody versus Roman too, which should be a WrestleMania. Because this is what I'm saying, guys. Is that I don't know what you guys are gonna do for the 2024. 2024. I'm done. I'm done with I'm done with WWE. I'm done. Because you know what? Like it's not gonna change. It's not gonna change. Rome is not gonna Rock's not gonna come. He's not gonna get injured. So if anything, if Cody gets a shot at the elimination chamber and he wins. I hope he enjoys that title run because the Rock will just steal it. And I'm pretty sure he just did something like CM Punk because CM Punk just stole his, because Cody stole his WrestleMania moment and Rock stole Cody's WrestleMania moment. So I guess CM Punk is laughing in, laughing in his chair right now. He's laughing in his chair right now. But anyway, guys, we'll find out tomorrow. Like and comment. Excuse me. Peace.